sometimes uh, your mind needs a different perspective on the problem. start to wing his elbow out. I don't even want to pull it out all the way. I'm just going to slowly start to wing it out. Now, if he's very strong, strong, we use vibration, which is one of my concepts, vibration. Vibration is, is, is a huge concept here. Keep your elbow tight, tight, tight. Good. So I slightly get on my side. I'm pushing off the ground here, and I'm using vibration to wing his elbow out. Now, once I get the elbow out far enough <clears throat> to about here, I switch. So now I'm below, but I have the elbow. So go ahead and pull your elbow out now. Now I can start extending my body away, gluing his arm to my chest. So now I'm holding, pull your arm. So now I have his elbow. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold and I'm gonna transfer his arm underneath my elbow. Now notice how I'm using my two fingers to hold the arm and I'm rotating the arm. So if he wants to posture up, posture. Can't posture, tough. Now the idea is, Red light, green light. If he's trying to pull the arm out and I try to make an adjustment, I'm gonna lose. Pull your arm out. Hold, hold, red light, 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 red light until he relaxes. The second he relaxes, green light. Catch. Where is the power coming from? Why do I call it a super kimura? I'm grabbing the meaty part of his hand. I don't grab the wrist, ever. I might grab the wrist, but when I start to crank, I always slide it to the hand. So when you slide the hand, the, the, the hand to the, to the meaty part of the hand and you grip, and I rotate, I have a lot of power. My elbow is framed against the ground, so if he wants to bring his hand to the ground, bring your hand to the ground, tough. Now, I'm gonna push off of my thigh. I'm gonna swivel my hip and create the angle. Now, it's hurting, do you feel it? It's already gone. Even if it's straight, straighten it. It's, hurt. it's still gone. Now, if I want to bend his elbow, because he's very strong and he starts to straighten it, I don't use my hand, straighten please. I just use my leg. I can't reach the ground, that's when I would use my hamstring pushing off to get the underhook. Once I get the underhook, I open and change. Once I change, I go back the other way. And don't forget to walk your shoulder away, creating a perpendicular angle. Legs are high on the back. Tuck, slide, catch, and shoot. All I hear, go get the money. So I go get it. Hate means I do something right. So I'ma let him. Yeah, I'ma let him, yeah, yeah. All I can do is think about jiu-jitsu. I couldn't train, couldn't teach, couldn't, couldn't do anything. So I just started thinking and, and uh, you know, a little bit before I got sick, you know, I started kind of, I got a chance to train, do a couple of seminars with Hickson. So, you know, the idea of connection, um, which I was aware of, but I didn't know what it was. Uh, I started thinking about it and I said, well, being connected is good. Um, what if you're connected all the time? That, that would be the ultimate idea of what it is. So I started kind of thinking about it. So I, 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 I thought about it pretty deeply and I'm gonna show you guys some of the stuff today that I came up with. So there is a 
difference. If you notice when I, what's your name again? If, when I did it to Derek, his arm was bent. But some of you guys are ending up with a straight arm. That's okay. Same move. The reason that his bent is because I kept it bent. I, I, I didn't allow it to straighten. If he wants to straighten, straighten it. Now, sometimes what happens is the arm goes straight, straighten it. Good. So again, my focus is to switch and control his. So I kept everything locked. And, and what ha that's what happens sometimes. Sometimes as you're doing this, the arm comes up. Now, what is the key detail? The key detail is these two thumbs rotate. Look how deep. I'm grabbing deep. Look how deep. I'm like this. So my fingertips are up in the sky. And now watch. Put your arm back. Move your hip. High bite. Now, this is the tricky part. When you get to this point here, it's this. See how I'm getting my hip off the ground and I'm putting all the weight on my bottom shoulder. So this is the whole move. Now the hand goes, be, or the foot goes behind the neck. And now we're gonna have to look the other direction as I fall to my hip. Arm is gone. Hips are in, arm is gone. Now sometimes what might happen is he might roll. I'm gonna keep control of his head here. Slow him down. Just your hip. Transfer the leg over the head. Release the leg. Two hands on the wrist. Adjust the elbow. Hips and fish. covering. If you go below the elbow, the arm's gone. So it's got to be a lot of times I'll do it, boom, simultaneously. And then pull it to your chest, extend the other way, cover. Don't forget to cover. Do not skip the covering step. Slide the hand to the wrist or to the meaty part of the hand. Throttle the hand. Get the hand to turn. The more you turn the wrist, the more it opens the elbow, the less it prevents posture. The more it prevents posture. So I'm gonna, first I'm gonna put weight on him and I'm gonna circle. I'm gonna change my grip and put my hands on his chest. And circle to the other side. Now my hands go again. You have to be able to balance. So I'm pushing down and forward in a way where you feel how you're stable. I change my grip and now I circle to the front. So the whole time, you feel pressure? Constant, 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 constant. Okay. Right, what are you going to do with your hands? Carry your weight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Where's all my... Wh wh what are you feeling right now? My shoulders are pinned, my back's pinned. Where, where's the pressure? Right up here. Targeted. I can take the weight off my hip. I can take the weight off my shoulder. How do I fall if I take the weight off my... But I'm balanced here. Now I can move you out of the way. But where's all my weight? Now, if he wants to drop me, drop me. Great. You feel my weight just never goes away? And then you have to find, where is he pushing? Wherever you're pushing, push, freeze. This is not stable to me, but this is. 
So it's understanding and targeting your pressure. You can go to my chest, go to my chest. <laughs> now we're targeted. Now, he's pretty strong here. Yes, he's strong. How can I make him weak? Push, hold. <laughs> Deflect the pressure. start to shift my weight. I'm not saying I can do it all the time, every time, as quickly as I can. Some guys, it takes me a second to find what that stability point is when I find it. At some point I find it. It's usually the, the shins, my hips on his shins, controlling his shins with my hands, my hips on his shins, my chest on his knee. I almost had your neck once. Uh -huh. one. And one time I saw it, I go the next time he goes that direction, I'm gonna try to wrap it. Just I started spin. getting the help more, like more hair control with you. That makes it harder. Pressure constant. Maintain pressure always. Don't put your knees on the ground. He has to carry my weight. The ability between a white belt, blue belt, purple belt, brown belt, black belt is can you balance yourself on a white belt? Can you balance yourself on a blue belt, purple belt, brown belt? I, I can balance myself on anybody. I don't care who it is. There are balancing points. I'm waiting for moving around. Feel stable. Push this down. All I'm trying to do is get his foot right to here. So my, I'm going up and over his foot. Oops, hold. Sit, where's all my weight? Now, if I want to go to his hands, my hands start, my, my chest starts to drop, where are you going to put your hands? Now the weight can come off the legs. Oops. Arms. Now if he starts to push me away, I meet the pressure with my center. This is on the front of the knee, but if the chest is on the just off to the side of the knee, here, hold me, hold me. Now but open your knee. Do you feel it? Yeah, I can. It's way harder. So I want to find the center of his uh, of my chest side of his knee. So as I shift the angle, now I can drive my whole body against it. So I've shifted the angle so now the knee doesn't slide. And if he wants to open the knee, open the knee. It's, it's locked. You have to understand, the opponent will try to open the knee. Go, 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 go. If he doesn't, wonderful. If he doesn't, go, 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 get up. What it happens after a little bit. So what you have to do is be able to hold him long enough 
at this angle until he quits. Is, is, um, is something that takes a little bit of practice, but once you understand the idea, it's just a matter of practice.